Well, greetings, Prini enthusiasts. This is Tegal 3D. My name is Vicki Soma, and today's episode, we're going to talk about upcycling Tic Tac containers into little planters. Recently, my application to be a maker has been accepted by Maker Fair Nova. That event is going to be at George Mason University on March 18th. This will be my fourth year being a maker at Maker Fair Nova. Uh, this year, I want to focus on upcycling projects with 3D printing. My inaugural project has been quite some time in the making. Um, in April of 2016, Josh from Design Make Teach did a fascinating blog post on his 3D printing blog, Design Make Teach, about a design challenge to upcycle Tic Tac containers. Uh, my mother is addicted to Tic Tacs, so I started to have her collect these Tic Tac containers because I was going to come up with some kind of project for it. Um, those Tic Tac containers has sat in my office from about April 2016 until now, uh, January 2018. So it was about time that I found something to do with them. Uh, for Christmas, I received some air plants and, you know, they love moisture. They want to have high humidity. They want to be in places like showers. And so this seemed to be a good opportunity to do something with the Tic Tac containers. This was designed in Blender. Um, the way I designed it, just a quick little uh, synopsis here, was uh, first off I took measurements of the Tic Tac container itself and I modeled that. And I may use this reference model in other projects, um, maybe even the one that's printing right now. Once I had my little model of the Tic Tac container, uh, what I did was I used a tool called Loop Cut and Slide to just sort of plan out where I wanted my support railings for my frame that was going to hold the Tic Tac container. Um, once I laid those out, I highlighted each of those faces and I duplicated them. I made a copy of just those faces. Then I used a feature in Blender to separate out those duplicate faces to their own object. Those new duplicate faces that are their own object, I know that they're flush with my Tic Tac container that's you know, going to be inserted in. I didn't add any clearances. I wanted to keep everything nice and snug. So once I had those little support rails out in its own object, I just extruded them to the thickness I wanted. And then I also put a hole in the back uh, for a little hook for a suction cup. The heart on the front is another example of reusing and recycling. I took a heart that I used in my son's Valentine's, my very, very first YouTube video, you know, with the horrible audio. Um, but I used that same heart uh, for this Tic Tac container. I just made sure to size it the right way so my um, support railings wouldn't show. With printing it, I actually printed it face down with the heart flush on the bed. You know, that means that I have to be very disciplined about my Z calibration to make sure that that first layer is going to look nice. Uh, it has to be, you know, first layer porn worthy so, you know, it looks pretty on my wall. It prints the heart first and it goes up and then I just count on bridging to take care of my back support rail. There is a little bit of bowing here and it may be a happy coincidence because when it comes time to put in my Tic Tac container, it holds snug um, even when I fill it up with a bunch of stuff, which we'll see. To finish up the piece, I have some little suction cups that I bought at Michael's and Walmart. I filled the Tic Tac container with some um, aquarium stones, you know, just some colors that uh, I was responding to and I liked. I put in some debris at the top just to give my air plants some bit of nutrients. And that was that. Uh, I'm also starting some succulents in some, and I'm um, growing one with grass seed, which is not very pretty, uh, but I have been finding it fascinating to see how far the grass roots go down. Uh, they go pretty far. I'm also going to go ahead and put this little model up on Thingiverse. I'll put the link down below. It is heart-shaped, and Valentine's Day is coming up. You don't necessarily have to use it for air plants or succulents or even uh, fascinating long root grass seed. Uh, maybe you could fill it up, up with M&Ms or, you know, like little candy hearts or something like that. You know, I don't know. Sky's the limit. You take it from here. 
Well, that's today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down below to Design Make Teach's original blog post, and you could check out his projects with Tic Tac containers. Um, maybe you'll have some ideas of your own. Maybe your ideas will spur more ideas. Maybe creativity will beget creativity. A nice little uh, infinite loop going there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can comment down below on YouTube. Uh, you can find me at Twitter at TGAW. I also have my own 3D printing blog. It's nowhere near as good as Design Make Teaches uh, 3D printing blog, but you can find that at www.tgaw.com.